right? So for 8.2, we started seeing two step problems. So I'm gonna start with a very simple one that we would have seen in grade eight. And we're gonna solve it using two steps. Now, the very first thing that we have to remember is what is our goal? Well, the goal is still the same. The goal is to get the variable by itself. We've got to isolate it. We want it by itself. So letter is by itself. Which means right now, if you look on the side of the letter, I put that little squiggle line in the middle of the equal sign, on the left side of the equal sign, we have the letter, but it's attached both to a two and loosely to a five. We need those letters to be gone. The very first step is we want to get rid of the constants. Now the constants are the free floaters. They are not attached to a letter. Okay? They're not attached to multiplication and division. They are attached with addition and subtraction. Right? So they're, they're the friends, but they're not fully attached with any sort of um, multiplication or division. So what that means, my constant in this case, is this positive 5. Because it's not fully attached to the letter, but it's still on the same side of the letter, and we want that letter by itself on that side. So if I see plus 5, remember we're going to use the opposites rule. Now if I use opposites, what's the opposite of plus 5? Well, the opposite of plus 5 is going to be minus 5. Now remember, what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. Now when I do that, on this side, the fives, plus five, minus five, I use the opposite, so they're gone. On this side, all I have left is this two x, and the equal sign's still there. And on this side, 11 minus five, I have six. And now this is my second step. Now I have to get rid of the coefficient. Coefficient is the one that's really tightly attached to the letter using multiplication or division. So they're a little bit harder to get rid of, that's why we leave them to the end. So now, this 2 and this x are attached with multiplication, which means that the opposite would be to divide both sides by 2. When I do that, all I'm left with on this side is x, which was the whole goal in the first place. Now on the other side, though, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and that would be my final answer. And if I was to check my answer, 2x plus 5 equals 11. If x is equal to 3, I'm going to put a 3 in for this equation. So it's going to be 2 times 3 plus 5 should equal 11. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 5 is 11, and so both sides match up. They're equal to 11, so we know we did it correctly. Now, the second question that we're going to do is 2x plus 1 over 10 equals 3 over 5. Now, the only thing that changed here was that they became fractions. So my first step is still the same. The goal is to get the letter by itself, and I'm going to put a little squiggle through the equal sign to separate my sides, left and right. And now the first goal is to get rid of the constants, okay? So we want to get rid of the constants. The constants are the numbers that are not attached to the variable, but are on the same side. So on this side, the 1 tenth, positive 1 tenth, is not attached to the variable but it's still on the same side as it, so we want to get rid of it. So on this side, we're, gonna, we're adding one-tenth. The opposite would be to take it away. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. And when we do that, the one-tenth is gone. All we're left with on this side is the 2x. But now we actually have to calculate this. So let's do that over here. 3 over 5 minus one-tenth. When I'm adding or subtracting fractions, we know we need a common denominator. Now, in this case, common denominator is 10. So what I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So I can make 5, 10 by multiplying it by 2. And I have to do the same thing to the top. And now that the bottoms are the same, I can subtract. I get 5 over 10. Now you can actually simplify this. And we're definitely going to want to because that's only going to leave us with 1 over 2. So on this side here, we got 1 over 2. And then one more step. The 2 and the x are attached with multiplication, so now we have to get rid of our coefficients using opposite operations. The 2 and the x are attached with multiplication, so the opposite would be division. We're going to divide this side by 2, and we're going to do the same thing to this side. 
divide by 2. Now, 2 divided by 2, that's gone. We're left with an x, yay, that was our last step. But to do our division, we're going to make that denominator 1 on a whole number. And then we need to use kcf to do division of fractions. 1 half times 1 half is 1 over 4. And that would be our final answer for that one. Now, our final question, a little bit harder, or I guess number three. All right, we have k over three minus one half equals negative one and three quarters. So the very first thing, before I even start, anytime I have a mixed fraction, I need to convert it to improper fraction because I'm not going to be able to work with it in, in mixed fraction form. So 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, denominator stays the same, and the answer is negative. So I'm going to rewrite this equation right away. k over 3 minus 1 half equals negative 7 over 4. Now I'll actually be able to work with this number. Now here's something that's really important. Notice these are all fractions. We could try to create a common denominator, but why? We should just get rid of the constants first going to make our life easier. So k is attached to this 3 right now. They're pretty pretty tightly attached, but this minus 1 half isn't attached to the letter, except it's on the same side as it. So if I put my squiggle lines here, if it's minus 1 half, the opposite would be to add 1 half. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. When I do that, this one's gone. All I'm left with is k over 3 on the left side. On the right side, we probably need to calculate that. So let's go negative 7 over 4 plus 1 over 2. When we're adding or subtracting fractions, we need a common denominator, which is 4 in this case. So I have negative 7 over 4, and I have 2 over 4. Now I can add negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5 over 4, and that would be my answer over here. And then my second step is I have to get rid of the coefficient. The right, coefficient is the number that's attached to the variable, multiplication or division. So we've got to get rid of this 3, and right now it's attached using division. So the opposite would be to multiply by 3. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. Now that 3 is going to be gone. That's nice. All we're left with is the k, finally. All right, it's by itself on this side. Great. If we're multiplying fractions, that denominator is 1. And then we just multiply at the tops and the bottoms. And when we look at this fraction, we cannot simplify it anymore. That would be our final.